In this video, we're going to continue talking about how to convert uh, metric units to metric units. Let's say that I want to convert uh, 35 meters to millimeters. And you're looking at your conversion sheet, and you know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters and you also know that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters but you don't have anything that tells you well how many meters um, are equivalent to uh, a certain number of, of millimeters right how many meters are there in a millimeter or how many millimeters are there in a meter you don't have a direct conversion uh, in that sense. But that's okay. This is where we uh, come into multi-step problems. Because I do have a conversion rate meters to centimeters, so I can convert 35 meters into centimeters, and I do have a conversion rate from centimeters to millimeters, so I can then convert those centimeters into millimeters. 35 meters times the unit that I, I want, in this case I want to convert these to centimeters so that I can I convert them into uh, millimeters later. The units that I want on top, the units I don't want on bottom, these are going to cancel out. I get that 35 meters is 3,500 centimeters. And now I can take this 3,500 centimeters because these two are equivalent and I can convert those 3,500 centimeters into millimeters. There are 10 millimeters for every one centimeter. Units that I want on the top, units that I don't want on the bottom, those cancel out, and I get 35,000 millimeters. So, 35 meters is 35,000 millimeters. Now you can actually do this multiplication all in one step if you want. There's nothing wrong with doing it this way. You'll get to the uh, right answer, but maybe you want to uh, write less, do a little bit less work. I could take this 35 meters, I'm going to multiply this times my rate, 100 centimeters for every 1 meter, and I'm immediately going to multiply that by my 10 millimeters for every 1 centimeter. My centimeters cancel out, my meters cancel out, what am I left with? I'm left with just millimeters on top. And the solution to this is 35 times 100 times 10, which is 35,000. Millimeters. Let's try another one. Let's say you want to convert uh, 257 millimeters to kilometers. And you're going through your conversion tables and you know that one. Uh, Kilometer is a thousand meters. You know that one meter is a hundred centimeters. You know that one centimeter is ten millimeters. Well, I want to take millimeters and I want to turn it into kilometers. So I'm going to multiply. 257 millimeters by, well I don't have a rate to go directly from one to the other, but I could go from millimeters to centimeters, and then from centimeters to meters, and then from meters to kilometers. So let's try this all in uh, one sentence. This is 10, oh no, we don't want millimeters on top. In this case we want to have centimeters on top. I want to have one centimeter because that's the unit I want to convert to first for every 10 millimeters. 
Okay, meaning these will cancel out and I'll be left with centimeters. And the result of this, which is going to be in centimeters, I'm going to wind up multiplying that by one meter for every 100 centimeters. So the centimeters will cancel out. And the result of this is going to leave me with meters, which I want to convert to kilometers. So I'm going to multiply by one kilometer for every 1,000 meters. The meters cancel out. And I wind up with 257 times 1 times 1 times 1 millimeter over 10 times 100 times 1,000. And this simply simplifies to 257 kilometers. 257 times 1 times 1. That's, that's just going to give me my original number. And on the bottom here, I have 10 times 100 times 1,000. I use a little mental math trick here. I have uh, all multiples of 10. I have six uh, zeros. So that's 1 and 6 zeros. Okay. And you're welcome to use a calculator. You, know, you guys don't have calculators probably uh, for this sort of thing on your test. And here, I, now to get my final answer, I have to take this 257 and I have to divide by 1 million. Okay, so if you weren't comfortable doing that uh, mentally, then you can go ahead and you can pull out a calculator. Let's see, pull my calculator here, and you just simply punch it into your calculator 257 divided by 1. And I confirm that I have six zeros there, and I hit the equal sign, and I discover that I have 0 0.000257 kilometers. Okay. Mentally, if you're curious about how to do that, if you've forgotten how, when you're dividing by a multiple of 10, you simply take that 257, the decimal place is here, and we're going to move that decimal place to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's 6 zeros, we're going to move that 6 times, so that's 1, 0, 2, zeros, 3, zeros, which is where we get 0 0.000257 from. And that is how you convert metric units to metric units using uh, multiple steps.